There is one question that we keep getting asked about. That is, can we generate a consistent character with AI for real? And how do we do that? At first, we actually didn't have the best answers. We spent a lot of time researching this ourselves and found a few methods that give you very good results. The best part is two of the methods are completely free. So this video is us trying to share the playbooks with you. If you had come from the model fine tuning tutorial video, this is, I would say, a prelude to how we trained the character model. Say we have a general idea that I'm trying to create an anime girl with red hair. I'm on the model rev animated with this prompt. The first step is to generate a bunch of pictures and then pick out one picture that you like the most. The C determines the initial random noise that the AI goes off of. I quite like this one. Now here's the most important step. I'm going to copy the seed. I'll go to advanced settings, paste in the seed that I copied. So if you use the same seed and make slight alterations, you're going to get more similar images. In this case, a more consistent character. So we can follow this and change only one keyword representing the facial expressions of our character. The order of the keywords also matters. The keywords that show up earlier in the prompt have a higher priority. So I'm going to put in the facial expression as the second keyword. So now I get pictures of basically the same character doing different facial expressions. They all have the same seed. I really, really like this one. I think I'm going to publish it right now. This is so good. So cute. As the second keyword, instead of a facial expression, I can also put in a pose or a camera angle. Let's say side profile. The key is to experiment by only changing one keyword at a time and see what it's doing to your image. You can go out of your way. You can be changing the background or an object or a very specific description. I used quick enhance and now I have an ultra long prompt. With this prompt, we can be doing the same thing by just adding happy. But the key is to keep everything else the same. The siege, the motto, all the settings, including the steps, a sampler, and also most importantly, the prompt. With this method, we can be doing a lot more. Here's something I've generated that's a little bit more different. That's um, more cyberpunk and holding weapons. The second method gives you even more control while having the same consistent character. We can really make use of the image guidance. If you don't use the image guidance, you're going to get things like this. Even though I put in holding katana, it's a little bit more creative because AI doesn't really know what I'm trying to stress here. It doesn't know what the most important theme is for me. If you need more help with the image guidance, you can check out this tutorial video. It's also right here. We can use different combinations of things. I can put this katana picture as a post reference with a face reference of Akane. By guiding it with a specific pose, we're telling AI that this is the priority. You need to keep generating and re-rolling. Sometimes it's not going to get the pose completely right. But this is exactly the charm of AI image generation. You can sure get something you like by finding a way to work with it. The third method would be a little bit more costly. I'm not really talking about financially, but mostly mentally. From all those other images that we've got, we can now have so many images of the same consistent character. We're going to choose a character model and train this. With this kind of model trained, we achieve true character consistency. And my dog's snoring again. Hmm. She's really loud. Um, but let's take a good look at this gallery. This is barely taking any more trial and error, especially if you make use of the negative prompt. Almost every single picture is very usable.